steers next shown by Crazy Bones, reserved for two Pony Korea. Champion May and June to Alex Ellinger, reserved for Elizabeth Jones. Champion Shoulder Steer, shown by Brother Shreves, reserved for Josie Wigg. Champion Market Hacker, Justin Blood, reserved for Jose Champion Angus Steer, shown by Olivia Caldwell, reserved for Jessica Red. Champion King Key Steer, Nelson Ingram, reserved for Amy Watts. Champion Semitol Steer, Courtney Shaw, reserved for Matt Ramar. Champion Appendix Shore Steer, Elizabeth Jones, reserved for Cole Wisman. Champion Lane Tainer, Mary Tanesco, reserved for traditional. Champion any other breed, traditional, be reserved. Champion Prosper Steer, Dustin Lawn, be reserved. Shelby Lane. Again, we thank Candace Clippers for sponsoring the donation for the champions. Sponsor the top five animals. Cattle Company, Cattle <laughs> Sure Channel, Kegley Show Supply, Mount Angus Farms, and Little Willow Acres. Excuse me, those were the recaps. The Championship Market Animal Drive, Top 5 Animals, sponsored by Bob A. Show Steers, Tesco Show Steers, Milwaukee Stockyards, Bridges of Royal.
certainly been uh, a blast out here, and I was pretty excited when uh, Mr. Metallic uh, invited me up here to, to judges. Like I said, I heard so much about it, uh, and how it was, uh, you know, heard two things. One, it was always awesome, and one, the weather was always miserable. But uh, I guess one thing was true, and one thing was false. Uh, the cattle were awesome, and uh, the weather ended up being pretty good this year. So uh, it's, it's been really, really fun. Uh, um, you know, this is uh, an incredible lineup. Uh, obviously, I like the lineup because I put it together here, but uh, I, I think that there's some tremendous steers out here, and they're not all the same. Uh, and, and that's okay. They're different breeds. They're different stages of maturity. I think our lightest champions in the sixes and our heaviest ones, uh, mid eights, and, and even the cattle that weigh similar uh, are really at, at some different stages of maturity. And, and that's all right. Everybody's got to kind of put them together and, and target different shows where they want to. Um, you know, it's uh, certainly this early. Uh, nothing uh, about uh, weighing them out or hunting them out out here for me anyway. Just trying to find cattle that I like cattle that I think will feed and uh, that I got to look and got the structure. Uh, it's a long, long ways until uh, uh, these cattle are going to be targeted for their final show. And I know the, the jackpots and these point shows uh, are, are an awful lot of fun and it's fun to get them across uh, there. But I think most of you probably still have some end goal in mind to where you're really targeted. So, uh, you know, keep, keep that end goal in mind. Have fun along the way. Those of you, and, and I know we have uh, uh, probably some of the breeders here, I, I guess uh, uh, coming from a background where we're trying, trying to make a few of these, uh, uh, whoever's breeding them this good uh, has got a lot of things figured out because it isn't easy at all uh, and, uh, to, to put cattle together with this much power, this much mass, and still have a good look and get out and move. Uh, there's some people that uh, uh, know what they're doing and the guys back in the barns that uh, can put them together so masterfully and get them fitted and, and uh, to have this kind of presentation is, is unbelievable. And then these young people, there's some incredible sticks out here and uh, you can do everything right and then come out here and uh, not have a good showman and things don't always go your way and sometimes today and yesterday it wasn't the showman was bad, it was just the cap was uh, not ready to go to town yet, and they just didn't cooperate. Uh, there was a couple pretty darn good ones that if they just would have shown, who knows what kind of different look I would have got, uh, but uh, a few too many times when I was looking at some of those, I didn't get the, the view that you wanted. So uh, I'm not going to talk any longer. Like I said, uh, it's been uh, really fun. Let's put our hands together for the uh, uh, Saddle Journaling Club. These students, uh, this is awesome. Uh, we have a little show there at U of I, and our Hook Board Club does it, and I'm an advisor, and I, I know that uh, uh, it's pretty neat to watch the students do it. Ours is a student-run event as well, and we just uh, turn the students loose. Uh, yeah, there's going to be some times that uh, there's some little learning curve, and that's all right. They've got to they learn how to do it, so I commend uh, all these uh, students out here that have worked really hard, and those behind the scenes that have provided the funding and everything to, to make this happen. Uh, with that, it's been it's been an honor, been a pleasure. Uh, I think that there's some some real heat out here. We'll put together a top five that I think is pretty special. Let's one more time give a hand to our judge, Dan Scheidt.
Mr. Supreme Champion Market and Roll. Shelby Lane. We're sponsored by Karelska Show Steers. Champions, don't forget to get your picture taken at the end of the pavilion. 